Hello. Uh, this video is of possibly one of the most embarrassing, excruciatingly awkward interviews I've ever done in my entire life. Because I was meeting two magicians called Christopher and Mark, and they're brilliant at all their magic tricks and stuff, but they do something a little bit different. They take all of their clothes off, and when I say all of their clothes off, I mean all of their clothes off. I was actually quite nervous going to do this interview because um, even though I've been on TV on Big Brother without my shirt on before, that kind of just felt at the time like everyday life. I'm not particularly proud of my body um, and you will come to see, if you watch this video, why. It's a very revealing interview. So when I walked in to start talking to them, you can tell I'm a little bit awkward. You're bloody drongo. Hello. Oh, I, this is not uncomfortable at all. No, so, I know you're both magicians, does that mean you've got kind of things in your pockets? Is yeah, there like stuff everywhere? Oh, there you go. He's going in through you get we, we do magic with our sleeves up and pants down. Down here. Yeah. Okay. Is this a magic hand handkerchief it's here? Just a, it's just a pocket square. Got to be <laughs> well dressed. You're expecting like a big clown thing. Like, let me just... Bugger it, let's just... Oh, wow. <laughs> no. Okay, so it's all going all right. I'm starting to relax, mucking about a bit. I'd not been talking to them for longer than a minute. And then... This happened. Oh, wait, this game. Yeah, let's not do you this. Wanna, let's just, uh, <laughs> well, if you don't keep your stuff in your pockets, show. where do you keep your stuff? We have a saying that good magicians don't need sleeves and great magicians don't need pants, and we prove that every night when we get on stage as the Naked Magicians. We're taking our shirts off. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm oh, wow, he's getting oh, wow. out of the action. He's joining us. Jesus Christ. Yeah, right. Hello, by the way. Yeah, hi. I can, <laughs> yeah. I can come back yeah. later if you want. <laughs> I stopped in my jacket. <laughs> Why are you naked when you do your show? What's the important thing? I'm actually really you nervous know. about this. Well, <laughs> now wait, we're yeah. going to say another word until he takes it off. Is that the rules? Really? <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> Why? <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Right. I know I don't have a good physique. I know I don't have muscles. I know I have weird chest hair. Oh, the shame. So, so, emba so embarrassing, so embarrassing. Do you know what though? Most of us have normal bodies, so whatever. Okay, put it back on. No, 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 you're great. Fantastic. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so we why, do, we do it why, naked. Why, why naked? Why, why naked? Well, we wanted to take magic to an audience that otherwise wouldn't normally attend a magic show. So what better way to do that than do the world's naughtiest magic show? And of okay. course that involves uh, getting our clothes up as well. Right. So the okay. interesting thing was no one had ever done it before. Mm. In like history, no one had ever made just a naughty magic show. Mm. So when we had the yeah. idea, we're like, let's let's do it, but let's go all out. Let's take it as far as it could ever possibly go. You probably go. wouldn't want to see most magicians naked because most magicians aren't actually very attractive. <laughs> Are they? Is that fair to say? So true. We're known for being a very poorly dressed industry. <laughs> Would you say your audience is kind of largely uh, magic fans or largely perverts? <laughs> In the show, we, we promise three things. We promise it will be an amazing magic show. We promise it will be non stop last. And we do promise that we get it all off by the end of the night. You know what I so. think? I think. Everyone in the audience, like, people wouldn't come if it was called The Naked Show, mm. and people wouldn't come if it was called The Magic Show. Right. So we did, we just found those two things that are fun, and squished them together. So do you oh, think... So actually, that's a horrible expression. You two have yeah. never squished, right, I assume? There's, There's not like no a gay squish. couple or something. <laughs> we've been asked if we're a gay couple all the time, and we're just... <laughs> all the time. Yeah, we're just not time. official. I've never been to Australia, but I, I, but my impression of it is that everyone looks like you guys over there, right? I We'd mean, love you to come in, down. And in England, that. everyone kind of looks like me. I don't know whether it's fish and chips or the lack of surfing. Vitamin D. There's people in Australia that look like you. <laughs> and there's, but What's it is easier. It is easier to get What's a tan beautiful? in Australia. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're a handsome yeah. man. You're quite clippered, aren't you? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Six months of press, oh, and yeah. we've never had the person take their clothes off. Yeah. We've never talked about our clippery or not clippery. This is the you never crazy crazy world by me. Yeah. yeah. This this trick is all about your celebrity free passes, and what I've done is I've jotted down a few names of famous celebrities. So celebrity okay. free passes are one celebrity that you're allowed Am to I have one sex of them? with. Uh, I mean, you could be to some people. We have Channing Tatum, we have Johnny Depp in there, Brad Pitt, Beyonce. Heaps Johnny of different, Depp um, and Brad Pitt, wow, yeah. controversial, okay. Moving on, all right, we have Tom Cruise, Angelina Jolie, You're Brad Pitt, um, Angelina. Bradley Cooper, and so it's on. So as we go through here, we're gonna get you to select yeah, I'll turn away at this here, point okay. and I will look in the Don't direction. let me influence you, okay? I so won't. as I go through the deck, you just tell me when to stop, okay? So okay. just say stop, here we go. Stop. Stop there, we'll bring your cards to the top. Have a look at it, don't show me. Yeah, show everybody. 
I'm gonna grab my scissors because I do need my scissors for this trick as well. So have you showed everybody yet? Yes. So I'm gonna ask you straight away, is the celebrity that you're thinking of now male or female? That doesn't say anything out loud. But he did go to say male, I think. So it's okay, gonna be male. Right, right, um, are they alive or dead? Think about that. I'm gonna say it's a celebrity. It's it's a male. Right. Uh, they're alive. Uh, they're an actor and maybe a singer as well. And they're and they're okay, dark head. I great, think. Great, great, great. Yep. On the count of three, I want you to call out the name of that celebrity and tell everyone at home if they missed the start. Will Smith. Will Smith, as in All right. the actor, <laughs> known for the character in. The Men in wow. Black movies. That Will Smith right there. That's very oh, cool. Yeah, there we go. That's, That's really clever. getting jiggy with it. Yeah, I, I mean, I put it up against your skin, but then white on white. <laughs> did you? I know how that you did that, by the way. Binding. I know how you did that. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah very well. Because I'm so pale, I'm actually see-through, <laughs> and there's a mirror behind me, and you can read it through my body. Wow. Like a newborn <laughs> fish. That's, That's right. right. That's how you did that. <laughs> Stop. Like a newborn fish. I'm gonna get you to take one card out. Okay, it's gonna start like a normal trick. Um, take that card out and look at it and do all that stuff, but uh, I'll look this way. And I want you to take this pen and write on the card, um, on this side of the card. We could get you to write your name. We're gonna get you to write your porn star name. That's the name of the first pet you ever had and the first street you ever lived on. You'd be a rubbish porn star. I reckon I'd be quite good, actually. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Can you Goodness see that? me. Jeez. Okay. How are you not the first to get kicked <laughs> like, out of the house? You basically flash it to me on the way back. Oh, no, it's okay. Did you nah, see it? Here's, now, I'm going to look this way. Can you stick it uh, Sorry, right about flash, here? Just, just stick it in. Right there. Okay, fantastic. I'm going to put the rest of the deck on top. Uh, I'm going to hand it back over to you, Mike. Yeah. So look, it's important to always be prepared when you're going to do a magic trick. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> this is getting really erotic. So all we have right here is um, my wallet. Okay. Right. And <laughs> inside is something that I brought. It's very important, to, as I said, to be prepared. As they say here the in the UK. condom right there. I'm just going to open this up real carefully here. Watch this real close. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get you to tear open that last part of the condom. Yeah, just open it right up. And you can see the inside. We'll show the camera there. Inside is something. Right. You know what? Actually, you grab that. Uh, can we get you to unfold that, please? Yeah. Skin. Yeah, unfold it. Watch this very carefully. That same one that's been inside the condom the whole time. This is amazing. Hey! Wow. What's your boy's name? Is that it? Chip that's Burns. Chip, Chip Burns. Oh, All right. Sounds like an STD. I bet it does. I bet it does. <laughs> does that ever get annoying when you're actually trying to have sex and instead of, you know, you're opening a condom and instead of the condom inside you've got a playing card? Oh, I would never that's use that's a condom not gonna help. I'm starting to sweat. Do you mind if we just take a moment to... Yeah, no, That's, by all means, it is yeah. quite hot under the lights, isn't it? Okay. Okay, while they're gone, I'll just, uh... I'll just stand here. I have, a, I have no audience, it's just me standing on my own in the theatre. This, this is how it will be when I do an evening with Andy West. Do I look horrific? Do I look ridiculously white? The stage lights give you a bit of colour. <laughs> yeah, with the, with the colour being blue. Or <laughs> The stage lights give me colour. Oh my... So we thought we'd finish the interview wearing what we wear in the show. And that's nothing, except our top hats. Oh my god. Thank you for noticing. I can actually see your penis. Is the rabbit a bit smelly? And why do you still have pants on? Oh, I'm not, I'm definitely not taking my... Oh, okay. I'm Come on, let us see your little brother, big brother. I haven't got anything to cover myself with. Uh, um, yeah, you I'll can give you some hats. Or snuggles. Maybe that will do. I'll give you... <laughs> that was the cool thing with getting naked on stage, because we, when we went full out, we did do what most people mm. wouldn't, you know? No, it's, uh, it's carry and, on. And because of that, because it wasn't just a gimmick, it was actually a magic show where two guys got legitimately naked yeah. uh, and, and a strong theatrical show. Is this a bit of a dream for you, what's happening? Uh, it's, oh, well, yeah. a dream of sorts, yeah. I mean, you know, you got dreams, you got nightmares. Mm. Can, yeah, I actually do, can I do this? Is it's the not, rabbit in the right place? Yeah, it's a, Pull my boxes down! It's not good brain awareness, <laughs> Pull Mike. my boxes <laughs> down, <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, he's out! Right. Is that there? Have I done it? Do you Pull them all the way down there. <laughs> God, it looks so what much if I bend over? Like that? What am I doing? Why am I so white? Is there something weird going on about my nipples? Something strange? Are they like too low down or or something? Their nipples are like here. I look like some kind of weird cow man. I can't even believe I I can't even believe I'm putting this up to be honest. Oh, there you go. How does it feel for you? It's, it's a weird Liberating, feeling. Liberating, actually. Yeah, I'm really was, sorry about the fact the that I've got my bits pressed up against your bunny rabbit. Yeah, I'm sorry too. And that's a sentence I hope I never say ever, ever again. I wonder how many people have watched this start to finish. I think everyone. Why wouldn't you? But do you, you did edit the Edinburgh Festival, so can people come and see you next year in 2017? Will you be making a return, do you think? Here's what it went we amazingly well, didn't it? Yeah, we had a great run in Edinburgh this year. Uh, we, before that, we were in America and Canada. Uh, it's been an incredible time in London. So we've got some new dates coming out in the new year, 
And what we're definitely planning on doing is coming back to the UK. Be that London, Edinburgh, uh, all around the UK, we're definitely coming back. Of course, if you go to nakedmagicians.com or our Facebook page, The Naked Magicians, that's where we update stuff all the time. It's been such a pleasure talking to you. I'll do this one-handed. There. Thanks, Andy. Well, that's warm. <laughs> mm, it's warm. Right. I'm going to kind of now walk off like I've wet myself with my trousers around my ankle. Thanks. Bye. Good look. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. See you. Not looking at your ass. Not looking at your ass. Looking at the camera. Not looking yeah. at your ass. Looking right here. Okay. Right, he went close that way. your eyes, everyone. So. <laughs> so I'm going to go this way. Okay. I'm just going to stay here. That was probably the greatest interview I've ever done in my life. Yeah. But very good fun. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you say after that? Sorry, maybe? I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. This, by the way, is up for grabs. If anyone here wants uh, to win this, I'll just choose someone at random. Just say in the comments that you want it. I'll sign it or something if you want me to. I'm just gonna die now of embarrassment.